There are many things that affect the human health of a person, such as his environment, his lifestyle, and many others. Work is an important determinant of health. It can influence health in a positive or negative way. A place that is safe, healthy, and work-conducive entails more productivity. In fact, with a healthy workplace, you will be doing more work with less effort. That's why today, our lesson is about hazards in the workplace. It is very important to know the difference between a hazard and a risk. A hazard is a term used to describe something that has the potential to cause harm, while risk is a measure of the possibility of a specific harmful effect in given circumstances. To learn more about the workplace hazards, let us have these types. Safety hazards Inadequate and insufficient machine guards, unsafe workplace conditions, unsafe work practices. Biological hazards caused by organisms such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, and parasites. Chemical hazards, solid, liquid, vapor or gaseous chemicals, dust, fume, or mist. Ergonomic hazards, anatomical, physiological, and psychological demands on the worker, such as repetitive and forceful movements, vibration, extreme temperatures, and awkward postures arising from improper work methods and improperly designed workstations, tools, and equipment. Physical hazards Noise, vibration, energy, weather, electricity, radiation, and pressure. Psychological hazards. Those that are basically causing stress to a worker. This kind of hazard troubles an individual very much to an extent that his general well-being is affected. What are the examples of hazard? Workplace hazards can come from a wide range of sources. General examples include any substance, material, process, practice, etc. that has the ability to cause harm or adverse health effect to a person under certain conditions. As shown in Table 1, workplace hazards also include practices or conditions that release uncontrolled energy like an object that could fall from a height, potential or gravitational energy, a runaway chemical reactions, chemical energy, the release of compressed air, gas or steam, pressure, high temperature, Entanglement of hair or clothing in rotating equipment, kinetic energy, or contact with electrodes of a battery or capacitor, electrical energy. Without the knowledge of the difference between hazard and risk, the types of hazards, and the examples of hazard, this can lead to non-identification of preventive measures for implementation and communication to prevent harm in the workplace.